This Paulie's pizza is delicious, isn't it? It's decent, but it's not as good as donuts. Sorry. Is anybody else not enjoying the mouthfeel of Frederico's? Mm -mm. Greg? Oh, I mean, it's all going to be trash to me. I'm a Baltimore pizza guy, like I said. Mm. You know what? I thought that might happen. And so, as your best friend here at Abbott, I took it upon myself to drive two hours to Baltimore to get you your favorite pizza from Say Cheese. Aww. That's crazy. I even asked the pizza Yolo to make it extra crunchy and wet. Bon appetit. Mm. Uh, all right, man, you, I can't do this. I, I just don't like pizza. What? Say that again. I don't think I heard you, son. Sweetheart, what do you mean you don't like pizza? I just don't understand the concept of having a bunch of ingredients just slosh around in your mouth. It's not just pizza. I've got like four or five things that I actually like, and I just stick to those. Do you like pie? Fruit should not be hot. OK. OK, what about a rack of ribs? Dry rub, no sauce. Yeah, it's not for me, but I do like bacon. He's lying. He doesn't like bacon. So how could you not like pizza, Gregory? How could you not like it's pizza? See, this is why I don't ever tell anybody, OK? Because everyone always freaks out and acts like it's a personal attack. It's not my fault. I was born this way. Don't you bring Lady Gaga into this. <sighs> he doesn't like bacon. Mm, mm, mm. Why is Gregory outside in his car eating? Oh, no. Ah, oh, crap. Girlfriend. Is she doing sit-ups in there? Gregory, what are you doing out here? Is this about the pizza? No. What is that? What are you eating? Why don't you just leave me and my boiled chicken sandwich alone? Oh, boiled. That's the worst way to cook it, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I can salt it. You, you know what? I'm not going to explain anything to y'all, OK? I'm a grown-ass man. Oh, I think we broke that boy. Hey, weird eater. Come over here. All right, listen. Is it bananas you don't like food? Yes. Would it send my Nana Vincenzi into a fit of depression? Absolutely. It's really bizarre. I've never seen anything like it. Is there a second part to this? Yeah, everyone's got something a little weird about them. She likes to sit facing the door. Yeah, because you don't ever know what's going to go down. And Jacob is, you know, Jacob. And we all know Barbara's. Doesn't like... have a weird thing about her. You're right. So the moral of the story is we're all weirdos here. Or the moral of the story is that since we're all weird, then none of us are. No. No. That's not how it works. Weird. We're weird. Mm -mm. By the way, I would like to be reimbursed for my excursion to Baltimore. I took toll roads. 